hey guys, it's Rob. And yes, I am on the motorcycle. I'm on the Indian Scout. Headed up to Wawa to put some uh, fresh gas in the bike. It's been a while since I filled her up. I've only put 30 something miles on it since uh, the last fill up, but uh, I'm pretty sure the gas is getting kind of old and stale. It's been a couple of months already. Something I learned recently is that uh, Wawa sells unethanol unethanolated, unalcoholated gas. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can uh, locate the blue pump with the non-alcohol gas, non-ethanol gas. Anyway, so I mean, most of you know that I haven't been posting a lot of uh, motorcycle vlogs, and I've got a lot of reasons around that. One of the reasons is mainly I just don't feel like doing it. But there are a couple other little factors involved as well. That's also why I don't ride the bike very often. So here, here, here's my laundry list of why I'm not doing very many moto vlogs. Okay, so number one, most of the time I just don't feel like trying to set up the camera and deal with it while I'm trying to ride. I'm not riding enough to keep my skill set sharp. In fact, this is the first time I've been on the bike in probably a month or so. In fact, the last time I rode it, all I did was ride it around my neighborhood just to keep the engine going. So my skills aren't sharp. Focusing on trying to do a moto vlog and at the same time keep from getting killed, you know, it's, it's just one, one extra thing that's taking my attention away from the road. So that's one thing. So another thing is for the life of me, I cannot seem to adjust the handlebars on this Scout to where I'm comfortable riding for very long. Uh, as you may know, or may not know, I replaced the stock bars with the uh, reduced reach bars, which bring them back to me a little further, which makes it a little easier on my back. I don't have to lean forward as, as much. But I can't seem to get the angle for my forearms uh, quite right. and my, my right elbow and wrist just start hurting like hell after a while. And I think that, it seems to hurt anyway, so I, I think whatever's going on may not just be bike related, it may be old man Rob related. But anyway, that's another thing. All right, so, another point, and, and this is something which, it's gonna make me sound terrible, uh, but I, I've been making YouTube videos for 10 years. And after a couple of years, I managed to reach a thousand subscribers and I got monetized and I started making a little bit of money. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. My lifetime 10 year earnings are about 1700 bucks. Yeah, 1700 bucks sounds like a lot of money. And it is. Spread that out over 10 years, subtract the taxes from it, and maybe, maybe we're talking about an average of $10 a month. In fact, for the last five or six years, I was only getting uh, a payout, which Google only pays out when you hit $100 of earnings. And I was getting a payout every year and a half <laughs> of $100. So, uh, you know, it's not much. But then Google started about two years ago tagging my videos unsuitable for advertising. And there was no rhyme or reason. I looked at their, you know, their uh, list of why it might get tagged and blah, blah, blah and I never could figure it out. I would challenge it and get rejected. I mean, I made a video of my dad talking to my brother-in-law about Iwo Jima. My dad was a World War II veteran. He was in the Navy. He, uh, he fought at Iwo Jima when he was like 19 years old, 18, 19 years old. So, uh, you know, I, I thought it very interesting for him just sitting there talking about it. And it got flagged. I don't know why. He wasn't talking about blood and guts and whatever else. You know, he was just talking about the strategies that, that were used and you know, some of the things that he saw and did while he was there. Uh, very, very, you know, you know, kind of generic kind of stuff, I guess, in a way. Interesting to me, interesting to my family, but, uh, you know, it doesn't have a lot of views on it but it got hit for advertising. And a lot of my other videos got hit too. 
my my most one of my most watched videos with over 340,000 views is of me getting injections in my knee for uh, my arthritis. I talk about the injections I got, and uh, I thought that was a m very helpful video to some people because I, I got a lot of people saying, "Hey, I, 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 my doctor is telling me that I should get these shots. You know, what do you think? It's like, does it hurt bad?" It's like, "Well, yeah, it kind of hurts, but you know." six, seven years later, my knee still feels a lot better. Your mileage may vary. So, anywho, um, that one got flagged. And then the one where I'm talking about having the sinus surgery, which was not very much fun, and I would not recommend to anybody. Uh, you know, no blood, no guts, no profanity to speak of. It got flagged too. I'm like, what the heck's going on? And then I start getting all these copyright claims as well. And uh, I'll tell you, I, I don't use music in my videos any longer. When I first started doing YouTube videos in order to avoid copyright problems, I literally bought royalty-free music and used it in my videos. And uh, they would occasionally get flagged and I would challenge it and it would get released. Well, the copyright started coming in left and right again, and I mean, for stuff that it wasn't even the same music, wasn't even freaking close. So I, I stopped. I stopped using that, but uh, those started popping up again. And then, about a year and a half ago, I get notified that I'm being demonetized because, although I have more than a thousand subscribers, in fact, I'm currently at fifteen six. Uh, 1,560, I think is what I'm at, 62 maybe, and uh, it said I don't have enough watch hours. So now, along with having 1,000 subscribers, you also have to have at least 4,000 watch hours per year for your videos. And I was, I was just short about 300, about 300 hours. So, you know, that kind of pissed me off. I mean, it, it's not that I'm making a lot of money on YouTube, but hey, you know, it was a nice little incentive to, to keep my channel going and to, to do vlogs and get out on the bike once in a while. The funny thing is, <laughs> the moto vlogs are not the ones that brought in the money. The, the things like the knee injections, uh, uh, just off the wall kind of stuff, things that I never even thought would uh, would earn me any cash, were the ones that, that get viewed the most. Um, but what, you know, whatever. Anyway, I know it make, makes me sound greedy and sound bad, but you know, it was just one more little nail in the coffin that is like, well, well, why am I doing this? I mean, I'm, I don't feel like riding. I, I love riding on the bike, but I'm not focused. And, uh, you know, cause I don't feel well. So I'm not focused. It's not safe for me. I know it's not. So, you know, so I ride less. And because I ride less, it's even less safe for me. So, you know, it's a perpetual cycle, right? All right. So I'm going to title this video Whiny Rob. Because <laughs> that's exactly what, what this is. It's a bunch of whining. I know it. Um, I still do want to post videos. And I'm, I'm going to post some of my shop tools. Uh, I did have a little bit of interest on that. In fact, it's funny. Uh, as, as I was saying, most of my videos maybe get 80 to 100 and something views. And that's just my diehard fans, you know. <laughs> my friends on YouTube that, you know, will watch my videos. And uh, the funny thing is, the, uh, the video that I just did about the Harbor Freight tool chest that I bought, it's already up to like 400 and something, 500 views. Go figure that. Uh, anyway, not that I'm making any money off of it. But, yeah, it is what it is. Whatever. Um, all right, guys. I'm not going to try to make this one too long. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this one here. I'm uh, going to try to get up here to Wawa, and I think I actually passed Wawa already. Yeah, I did. Shit. All right. Got to turn around. Talk to you guys later. Bye.